Hey kids, welcome back to Songs of Six. Uh, last episode, we basically, I would say we entered the mid game. Uh, the mid game, uh, I would define the early game as say from about 150, uh, 0 to 150 population. The mid game is kind of from 150 to 200. And uh, I think the key characteristics of the mid game are when you start to upgrade your services, uh, you start to upgrade your roads, you start to provide things like torches and all that stuff. Uh, you start to have metal, you start to upgrade your food capacity, uh, really kind of like industrializing your city. And I think the, you know, my kind of theory of how this game is going to progress, um, and I'm still kind of testing that, that's why I'm doing this Let's Play, is to really kind of figure out this phase of the game, and I'm hoping to make a tutorial about it, so hopefully we'll learn some things this episode, but I think what we want to do here is get a city that is self-sufficient in terms of food, or, you know, we're relying on trade for certain goods that we can't produce very well, but, you know, mostly, mostly has everything it needs in terms of food, uh, in terms of basic amenities, and then, all, and then, you know, increasingly able to support a military so that we can eventually look to potentially conquer our neighbors, at the very least defend ourselves. So, I think... I think what we're gonna do, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna work towards that goal. Uh, we really do have to get a bigger military. What does it say here? One can never be fully safe, but we do not attract attention of raiders at the moment. I think that's probably because we don't have a lot of money. And that's partly because I'm buying... I'm buying uh, coal and ore. I'm buying... What else am I buying? Can I see all my import depots? It looks like I'm only buying coal and ore. I guess I'm not buying stone right now. I should be buying stone, but I guess I don't really need any... Oh yeah, I deleted the stone importer, right? Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay. Let's just take a look at some of our core resources. Woods. We got, we got more wood than we need. We got... Yeah, I don't think we should start distributing resources to the population yet. Uh, it's very difficult to do that without uh, conquering neighboring regions. Are we making bows? Yes, we are. Oh, no, we're not. We don't have anyone in here. Okay, let's let's start making bows. Uh, let's turn on... The hunter. We shouldn't actually need more than about that. We'll see. I'm gonna just run the clock for a second here. Okay. That's two leather. And to make the bows, we need... Actually, five leather. Interesting. Well, we got a lot of leather to burn through, so... Oh yeah, no, we're basically producing enough. Okay, good. Alright. Now, do we have any more science, or are we pretty much maxed out? We are at 5,700, and we've used up... Oh, we've got, we've got a little bit to spare. Okay. Alright, we are... We have lots of animals. So, we could consider making another pasture, getting some more meat going. Our food supply is... Yeah, we have a shortage of grain. This is a big problem. Ah, our grain harvest just just happened. So, we should... That should largely be fixed. I am going to put a bunch of... Uh, delivery men in the granary here, because that grain all needs to be picked up and stored. And at this point, how are we doing on our bakeries? Okay. Our bakeries are going full tilt. Yeah. So, and we are working on getting a third farm going. Once this grain is all stored. I almost feel like we need a, another granary up here. Just so they don't have to walk quite as far. How many craces have? 45. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of tempted to... This might be overkill, but I'm kind of tempted to put another granary up here. Because it will be able to move more grain with less workers. Is that within range of our janitor? Yeah, okay, good. Just like solving little logistics problems like that. Now we can get some more population, but I'm going to wait until we've got the food situation under control. Uh, in terms of our... Dondorians. I want to look here. Priority. Uh, where are they working? 80% in carpenters, 20% in masonries. Okay. Okay, good. How are we doing on... Okay, we've got lots of uh, cut stone and stuff. Oh, there's a few other things we can upgrade and we might as well. So we can upgrade the stage. 
We only have one stage, huh? We should probably build another one over here. Let's move this over here. Or build this over here. And we can upgrade that right away. Uh, I guess we do need more people. Uh, what can I do? I can I can reduce a couple of woodcutters for now. Okay, now I'm gonna need definitely gonna need more people working on this farm because last year we did not produce enough grain. We did not make enough grain. How much were we making? 152, and the bakers are taking 182. Yeah, so this farm will fix that totally. Um. I only have four days of food. I really can't take in more people. Yeah, you see, like, some of this grain basically never got picked up. So having a second granary up here is probably a really good idea. I just feel like, uh... Moving... We can probably lower this now. What's the radius on this one? Okay, yeah, the radius is big enough, so it's not a radius problem. Okay, we can probably lower this down to one for now. Uh, we are full for pottery. We need to start selling pottery. Uh, this is a, an unused export depot. It was built for that, I think. So we're going to export pottery from that granary there. Uh, not the rate. We don't know what radius we want. Oh, these export depots have radius too, though. That's kind of important to remember. Hmm. Okay. All right. Good to know. Good to know. Like I said, I kind of feel like the radius should be set. I might put a comment in the uh, Discord. There's a suggestions channel in the um, in the uh, Songs of Six Discord, uh, and I might put a suggestion. I really do think that these should be set to 100% radius uh, when you by default, because I feel like limiting their radius is more of a specialized circumstance. You know. Yeah, okay, so we're going to... This is just going to contain grain. And we're going to put, like, one worker in it. For now. I'm going to... I'm kind of microing the, uh... Worker allocation. You get really... You can get really kind of fucked up real... Real easy if you, um... Okay, there's more than enough space for grain there. Uh, we'll just call this... O2 point one granary. Does that work? Yeah, awesome. Okay, cool. That way... Okay, I know I've got two granaries. It's a weird numbering system, but why are these... Didn't they rename these? Oh, they got modified. Okay, so we'll call this... Uh, O3 textiles. And this one here is, I guess, mostly wood and stone. O1 wood and stone. I don't know. I find it useful to uh, name uh, name these. Okay, did this get planted? Not yet. It's still getting. Okay, so we're actually we're gonna have a shit ton of wood. So I'm gonna free up some of those workers and just take a look at some of our industries and see what we might be able to increase. We can go to full employment there while we burn through all this wood because we're sitting at maximum because we cleared that farm. Okay, this graveyard's actually shockingly getting kind of full, I think. Yeah, what tends to happen is um, at a certain point in the game, some of your older citizens from the start of the game start dying. So we're year 38. Yeah, so that kind of makes sense. Um, afterwards, as you introduce citizens over time, you tend to have, uh, it tends to be more scattered, but this is sort of our, some of our first dying of old age deaths. Um, okay. All right. Um, yeah. Okay, let's work on the military thing. We'll, uh, we'll start training some archers. So we're going to go into the army tab here and create a second division. It's going to be humans again. And I only want 10 for now. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a small military for the time being, but I'm going to get one division of archers and one division of... Okay, we want archery training here. Okay, so they're just going to be pure archers and pure um, uh, infantry. Maybe I can change their little logo here. 
There we go to like a bullseye. Okay, that looks good. Uh, I like having archers and melee at all times just because if your city gets attacked and you, there's kind of superior forces, like even if we build some fortifications or something, you can't really use fortifications unless you have archers. Uh, you know, otherwise you're just kind of like waiting for the enemy to cut through your fortifications and it's just kind of a risky situation. So we've got guys training over here. Uh, I guess we can do another training ground. Um, where is it? Military, thank you. Archery range. Um, I guess we can just... Maybe we should leave some space to expand that. I guess we only... I'm only going to build it, like... I'm only going to build one for ten for now. Just build, like, the smallest possible one. To save on building materials. There we go. One thing you can do is actually build walls around these to limit the uh, noise that they create, but I'm not going to bother right now. Okay, there we go. We got our conscripts working. Uh, we have enough bows for this division. I think we need 80 bows for 10. I think it's 80. Yeah. So we have enough bows for now, and we are producing more bows, which is good. What other industries do we have that we could put workers in? Because we have a big glut of excess workers right now. 10 there, 10 there. Go here, go to all these workplaces here. This is kind of annoying. I feel like this number here should show you um, should show you the potential workers like zero. I guess. Yeah. Hmm. It'd be nice to see like what buildings you've already built. Does it even show that? Yeah, it does. OK, it does kind of highlight that to show us that we have one that we're not using. OK, that's useful to know. I guess we could go for more masons. It's going to cost us a bit in terms of importing stone. Uh, we're not even importing stone yet, actually. Um, and then we can go for maybe more metal smelters. We're going to start selling excess ma masonry, too. Uh, I've crunched the numbers in the past. It, I think it's worth it to buy the stone and turn it into masonry and, and resell it. So it could be worth starting to think about maybe upgrading some of our buildings, particularly the ones that Darndorians work in. Might be worth doing, but it's probably not. It's probably a little bit expensive in terms of stone right now for pretty minimal. Okay, they want to become colleagues. I, I, they want us, they want me to give them money to become colleagues. I guess we can do that. I guess that's like a sort of a, like a peace treaty or a non-aggression pact of sorts. Um, a funny way of phrasing it, colleagues. Um, but we'll do that, I guess, for now. Okay, so we are training archers. Is this set up correctly? I just, I'm a little bit curious as to why. Okay, all right, looks good. Uh, we need to finish this road here. Okay, how is the food situation looking? Okay, we, we're still not done building this. Okay, so I think we'll just keep those 20 odd jobbers because this is really high priority now. I mean, we're sitting on four days of food. It's uh, pretty ugly. We're still burning through last year's grain, but you can see like the grain is not lasting us through the winter. And now we just used up a bunch of it. So if we get stuck, we do have excess money so we could buy a big shipment of grain. OK, there we go. 19 grain farmers. Uh, so we have 50 Kryptonians. I hope most of these farmers are Kryptonians. They are not. Okay, is that because we don't have enough Kryptonians? How many farmers do we have in total? Let's go into workforce. Oh, 79. Oh, some of those are pastures okay 55 we should have 55 what are the Kryptonians doing why are they not working in farms okay most of them are so i think we can maybe just lower these down to the minimum that should be okay just want to make sure that we everything is fully staffed that will increase our oh uh, yeah, we're good. Okay. 
Now almost all of our farmers should be Kryptonians. Okay. Once again, not increasing population until this next grain harvest is in. Uh, it might be worth getting some fishing going. We do have Dondorians. Might be worth it. Let's take a look at what the fishing situation looks like. Um, because this is freshwater, it's not great fishing land. Fishing, I mean, fishing land. It's not. It's not great. Like, how much would we produce if we were to just production seven point five? Well, fifteen really. Yeah, we'd have to put an enormous amount of workers into fisheries to get a good yield. I think. Like, if we were to make a really big, a really big fishery here. I guess that's actually, we're going over the uh, clay mine there, too. Hmm. What would we get? We would get twice this, because the efficiency, so we would get 23 or something. Considering how much, yeah, I mean, I, I just think the, uh, the bakeries are more, more efficient, I think, overall. And we would probably have to get more Garthemis. To get a better yield from a fishery, I don't think it's worth doing. I think we're going to rely primarily on bakeries for the time being, even though that means that our Dondorians are not getting their food preference. Here we are using some Dondorians in the masonry. This is good. Hmm, what's the next move? I think... Yeah, I think it's, uh... Well, let's wait. Let's wait. Let's wait till this. Uh, let's wait till this granary is done. Because once this granary is, once we get our harvest in five days, we will be able to expand our population again. Start looking at some other options. Meanwhile, we're running out of. We are running out of grain. We should be fine though, because we've got. Five more days till, or no, actually one more day till harvest. We got four days of food. We're good. We're good. Okay, great. So now let's just take a look here. If I put five delivery men in each of these to see how fast we can clear this harvest. Because it's important. Yeah, that's faster. That's much faster than last time. See how those, they're they're going from both sides? So this one is still... What's the radius on this? Okay, good. Yeah, so, so this one is still... Oh, that's wood. Okay, I see. Alright, let's... Where's our other wood? Okay, wood is over here. Oh, and there's wood in this this granary storage too. Let's um let's get rid of that wood storage there and go to the north granary here and get some wood storage there so that we're actually getting this wood off of the ground. I thought that was grain. Uh are they doing that? Oh god, we uh we have a shortage of workers. Shit. So, we only need one worker here for now. Uh, what's going on over here? Do we have... How many workers do we have here? We need to upgrade the radius of this so that they actually go get that wood. Thank you. I want the wood brought here. I don't want it. You know, it might be worth using haulers too. Jesus, yeah, we need more workers here. Okay. Let's, uh... Actually, now we have a shit ton of grain. I think we can actually just increase our population. Uh, we're gonna go up by 25... Okay, now we've unlocked guard post, dungeon, scaffolds, and stock. Uh, do we want to get a guard post going? Probably, yeah, we probably do. We need to produce armor for that. Ooh, we have an excess of a few different goods here. Okay, so I think what we're going to want to do is we should actually kind of set up our... Like, I don't know if there's much of an advantage of going to 
going to a jail rather than the stockade. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe you don't need as many workers. We might as well just do it. We're not using that, so we might as well go and kind of start to create a bit of a justice system. Uh, we don't have access to the court yet, of course, but we could build a dungeon. So let's build a dungeon back here. Uh, we don't want to build a huge dungeon because they're a bit expensive. That's fine. Like, that's enough for 16 prisoners, which is good for now. I don't see us having, like, big battles where we're going to take a lot of prisoners. Uh, that's probably fine. This is four guards. Yeah, I don't think this pays off labor-wise. I'm not sure what the advantage of this is versus the... versus the uh, stockade, but I'm just going to build it, and we will find out. Maybe it scales better. Maybe there's some mechanism where they escape more often if they're just in a stockade. I don't know. Uh, we should also probably build a slaver because uh, we have decided that we are going to do a bit of uh, slaving in this. Uh, I find with the slaver, you really don't need to build it very big. Like, I don't even know if there's any purpose in having more than, like, one. I guess it can serve more... It can... I guess you can, if you get, like, a bunch of people at once, you can enslave them quicker, but... Not exactly sure why. Like, you can just have them imprisoned while they're waiting to be enslaved. I think. I don't really know what the... Eh, let's build it like that and just see. I guess if you enslave massive amounts of people all at once, I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, we definitely only want one person in here. And one person in here. For now. We don't even have any prisoners. Uh, might be worth doing the guards thing. We need armor for that. Let's start selling... Uh, we need to start selling stone. Uh, we are actually running out selling stone. Selling selling um, cut stone is what I mean. Or whatever they're calling it. Is it cut stone? Is it fancy stone? What is it being called now? Cut stone. Yeah, okay. Uh, we need an, uh, we need an import depot. Uh, import depot, I've got one down here. Oh, these are not, uh, shit, we're also not producing any metal because I forgot to set these up properly, so coal and... Ore. That's fine, 50%, 50%. Uh, now what we want to do is reduce our stone storage. So I'm actually going to get rid of the stone storage here. We don't need any on this side of the map. And then over here, we just want one crate for stone. And we finally used up all that backlog. Okay, there we go. Export depot, and we wanted to create an import depot too. Shit. Okay, am I going to have enough stone to create that import depot, or am I need to harvest some? some? Uh, this is the masonry here. Okay. And we're going to import stone to 100%. Okay. This is good. There we go. That's why we're making so much bloody money. Okay. Exports. We're going to use this one here. And... Oh, this one. Okay, there we go. This interface is still a little bit awkward. Uh, it's 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 clearer in terms of it's clearer and more flexible than the previous logistics system was, but it's it's a bit of an awkward interface to read. It is what it is. I think the developer of this game, um, and I, I mean this in uh, the best way possible, the developer of this game is like not very UI focused. Like, I feel like he's a coding guy. He's not like a UI guy, you know? Okay, this is good. We got our stone importing. We got our cut stone exporting. This is, uh, this is all going very well. All right, uh, we have tons of demand for immigration. I'm kind of wondering, okay, what's the food supply looking like? I think we still haven't had our first really big harvest of this. Yeah, okay, yeah, we're going to have a huge harvest next year. I think we actually need more bakers. Yeah, I'd say so.
Maybe we want... I don't know, I kind of ignore accidents. Yeah, so look look at how fast that gets cleared. It's so fucking great. This was five delivery men there. We only had one delivery man there. Let's... Let's cut this down to one for now. I, I think the farmers do part of the delivery work themselves, so... Okay, now... Uh, we are... We have a glut of that as well. We seem to be at kind of equilibrium for clothes. I don't really like selling clothes or any of the other military goods. Hmm. Uh, might be worth... We could get rations going. For the military, but yeah, no, I think we need to scale up bakeries first. So let's take a bakery and stick it here. Probably should have put it on the other side, but that's nah, okay. That's fine. Oh, we have a housing shortage. Oops. Uh, those guys are mostly unemployed. Okay. I, I kind of like to wait until they're employed before allocating their housing because it helps figure out where the housing should be. Let's look around. Are there any yellow buildings? There aren't. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we've got free housing. We just need to... We, we will need to build more, but... Okay, that's three bakers. Now we need to look at our grain and... Yeah, so now we're actually not producing enough grain for our bakeries. But... We're producing twice as much food as we need for the following year. So this is this is really good. Uh, I'm sort of wondering now if it might be worth just looking at technology here. Did we upgrade our wells? I think we did. Yeah, we upgraded everything, I think. Maybe not the hearths. We did everything. Even the roads. Yeah. So I'm sort of wondering now whether it's worth maybe... I don't know that we really need much more in the way of technology. Um... We could do some more of the metal upgrades for the industries that we have the most workers in. That's probably... Like, so... The weaver here takes furniture. That's great. Um, what is this one? That's machinery. We don't have machinery. Might be worth starting to produce drinks, grabbing a brewery. But we are having a little bit of a grain shortage. Maybe we do a single grain upgrade? I guess it's actually worth doing more. Yeah, let's uh, let's get the most out of our grain. Like, if we do that, how much have we invested? So for 406, we get 50% more grain. I'm just looking at that, and how does that compare to... Like, the research demands... This gives us 50% too, I think. So it's... With the new system, like... Bread may not actually be the most efficient... Bread may not be the most efficient uh, food stock because you need the worker for the grain. I'm not sure. I'll have to crunch some numbers. It seems to it does seem to be balanced out a bit more anyway. Uh, we can probably increase the size of our lab. Actually, maybe we'll go to a size 50 lab. Do we have the metal for that? I think so. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, am I going to refurnish? Yeah, I'm going to refurnish. That's fine. I'll I'll just do it. It's always a little bit risky to do it this way, but I'm not that worried. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to expand it this way. Um, I'm going to build it out to the size that I want it to be eventually, and then I'm not going to actually put all the stations in yet. We can just add stations later. Yeah, so it's going to be... That's five more workers. One, two, like that. So that building is kind of like ready for future expansion. And we'll put the door back here. That road's a little bit narrow. Uh, I usually like, like wider roads than that, but that's okay. And yep, looks good. We have all the materials we need. Yeah, great. Go. Temporary pause in our... Oh, I gotta set this to auto. There we go. Now we're gonna increase this. How is the food? Yeah, we got tons of food. Let's go up to 250. 
And yeah, now our grain should be keeping up. We should be estimated 308 grain. Yeah. So we're producing uh, we're producing a, a surplus of grain for sure. That's really really good. And we should start building up more bread as well. Uh, I want. There we go, and there should probably be a little bit of bread storage here as well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's a big increase. A big increase to our grain production. What are we at in total? 325 population. Yeah. Our slave population is kind of dwindling. I'm wondering whether we should trade with our little trade partner there to see if we can get a large number, larger number of slaves. How many livestock is this producing? Two livestock. Okay. That's the main purpose of this. I kind of wonder whether the pastures are worth it at all. Sometimes I wonder whether it's just worth building other things, you know? But... Uh, it's just so annoying to have to buy livestock to get uh, to get pastures going later if you end up needing them. Might not be worth it. If you want to rush to the late game, might not be worth it. I think it gives you a little bit more flexibility, though. Oh, that's not a road. Uh, there we go. This is a road. Okay, we're going to go like this. And I guess we'll just go straight like this. Uh, yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do you like how this kind of integrates into the road network? Very cool. Oh, uh, that graveyard is too small, I think. Yeah. Uh, we've, we've still got... Mm, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. Could be a problem. Could be a problem. Might be worth expanding it. Uh, you don't really want to uh, duplicate graveyards because you generally only need one grave digger unless you have a lot of deaths at once. They're kind of like the dungeons and the slavers and stuff. Like, you don't need four grave keepers, grave diggers. It, they, only actually bear, they only actually work when somebody dies. So, unless you're having a lot of deaths, like after a big battle, you might need more grave diggers or something, but... I have not found it to be worth it otherwise. Okay, we need a road here. Oh, these uh, people are living near all the noise. That kind of sucks. So I could move them. Am I, do I have a shortage? Of, I have a big shortage of housing. Do I though? Yeah, I do. Okay, 35 humans. Okay. All right. Um... Let's take a look at the housing map. Keep forgetting to build housing. It's weird. Why is it not showing up as... Oh, wait. Maybe it doesn't in that map mode. I'm looking at the wrong map mode. Homeless? No. Okay. I don't see any homeless workplaces with homeless. Weird. I guess I've got a lot of odd jobbers. Okay. Well, I know I'm going to need some folks down here. So let's just build some longhouses. Uh, in fact, I probably want to adjust this. So that it's not quite so near to all this noise. Get the noise map mode. Okay, let's do that. What are we doing over here? This, ha this housing is pretty full too. Eh? I should probably build some more housing here. Like so. Yes, much better. Okay. Uh, slaves. Slaves, slaves, slaves. How many tilapies could I buy? I think they're more useful for us right now than the Garthemi. Yeah. Because we have a lot of these herders.
One thing about uh, the slave population is you have to... You have to feed them. Um, but they don't contribute towards the population caps that unlock new buildings and stuff. So that is... It's a bit of a mixed bag in terms of game mechanics. Just freed up a lot of odd jobbers by doing that. Got some tech here. Is there anything we want? These are going to be important techs as soon as we build our military. Uh, if we're going to field an army, we're going to need... Drinks and rations and stuff. Do we... Do we need tech to start farming? Maybe we get a ration maker going. Could be good for emergency food too. Just a small farm, maybe. We are... We have tons of clothing. It's just a small ration farm down here for now. Uh, what does that produce? Two per day? That seems like not enough. We're going to turn our meat into rations, I think. It rots faster than bread. Does it? Is that even true? Might be worth researching. Let's do five farmers. I think that's that's the tickets. I gotta look at the spoilage. I'm not sure. Some things spoil faster than others, though, and you typically want to make the things that spoil the fastest into. There we go. Exactly five farmers. Uh, might be worth building some housing down here as well, maybe. I'm actually going to delete these houses because they're uh, too close to the factories, in my view. We'll do that. Like that. Should be fine. Drought. This is bad. We don't love a drought. A drought is a problem. Okay, connect that up. And connect that up. We need some roads down here. How are we going to do this? We're going to go like this, like this, like this. Okay, and then... So we'll go diagonally for now. And use that little corridor for some services, maybe. Not such a bad thing to space the city out a little bit more. Might need a warehouse expansion or something too, so yeah. Okay, and then we can go like this. Uh, it could be nice to start to do some more trees and stuff. Maybe let's at least do the... Um, mm, oops. Yeah. Let's do one here. One there. And maybe a few small ones here. How much do these cost? Four. Yeah. See, that's the thing. It's like, it's never worth it to build. I think he needs to change the radius on the smaller torch because it's just never worth it to build it unless you're in the tiniest little area. I guess if your street design is a little bit different, it makes sense. But uh, it's four metal for for uh, that one. And it's, it's just a quarter, right? So, but you don't really get a quarter of the radius. So I don't really see ever building the small ones. But that's just me. Who knows? Maybe some other people. Okay, wait, where is this cover that goes to there? Like here, it might be worth building two small ones. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Uh, I guess if you have really narrow roads like this too, you kind of are forced to build the small ones, but... Yeah. But that's about the only circumstance where it makes sense, right? Here we go. Still not loving the food situation. I guess it's just taking us a long ass time. Taking us a long ass time to bake all this bread. Is there some kind of malice I'm getting here? No, it looks like it's good. Oh, I have a wood shortage. Shit. Damn, we burned through all our wood. That was stupid. Okay, put all these guys here. 
I knew there was something up. I'm like, why are we not getting this food? Okay, so now let's take a look at what we're producing. 130. Okay, we're not we are not producing enough wood. We need to max this out. So give me some more dudes. Like another 25. There we go. It might be worth importing wood. We do have money. Well, not really, actually. We just spent a shit ton. Oh, we bought a bunch of slaves. That's why. Okay. So now what are we producing? We're producing 171 um, net minus 27. Does that make sense? I mean, I guess it must. Minus 27, is that... Is that what that net number at the bottom means there? Because it doesn't look like we're producing a negative amount of wood. Hmm. Wondering whether we should have a fetch order to bring some wood to our bakers. Not a fetch order. Um, it's not what I meant. Um, I was thinking more of having a hauler bring wood to our bakers. I guess they sort of are, but there's nothing to fetch in the vicinity. Hmm. Yeah, I think it might be worth having haulers bring wood to the bakers. Just because it kind of guarantees that the bakers get the best possible kind of throughput, you know? Uh, where can I put another one? There's a baker there. And there's a baker. Is that a baker? That is a baker. Okay. So let's build a couple haulers. I don't think we need more than that, because they don't use a lot of wood. And you haul wood there. And you haul wood there. They might need more than that, but we'll see. Uh, wait, does it have, does it have, it have a target? Yeah, it has to have a target. That's fetch from the grounds. So pull source. I want you to pull from there. Is this where we're storing most of our wood? Yeah, okay. Right, and you pull wood from there. Okay, now, do we have to set a minimum too? Oh, this is, see, this is interesting. I do think this new system is better. This new logistics system is better because uh, if we need to keep a little bit of wood on hand, like, we shouldn't actually take all of the wood from... Like, we should not take all the wood. Like, for example, I can look here and I can say, okay, my bakeries are drawing about just under, like, I guess just under, like, around a quarter of our, of our wood is being drawn by our bakers. So, yeah, so I could put this pull limit at only pull when the source storage exceeds. Hmm. Seventy-five percent. Does that make sense? I don't know. I'm not sure. No, I think I should put it down lower because I don't think they're gonna have the. Um... I don't think they're gonna pull that much. I'm gonna put it at zero actually. So let's just take a look at how quickly. Okay, does this have a radius too? Yeah. Again, these should be set to 100 percent by default. I don't know if the pull source overrides the radius. I'm not sure. But yeah, we want wood coming to this. We want wood coming here faster. Oh yeah, it's piling up. Yeah, so that's why it's interesting. My net was saying minus 26, but the um, but I was noticing that the wood the wood was actually going up. So now we'll run out of wood if we keep doing that. Okay. I could expand this guy again here. Probably worth it. Can we expand it more this way? Yeah, that's the maximum. What is that? 63 workers? Holy fuck. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Auxiliaries. Put some here. That's going to take a lot of furniture. Do I have furniture? I do. Yeah, okay. I got lots of furniture. Mm-hmm, 96%. There we go. Okay, that's good. Do I have the stone? I do. Okay, good. 
We really better do. We're starting to have less clothing. That's good to keep an eye on that. Okay, there we go. Fill this right up. And let's go up to maybe 50. 50 woodcutters. Do we still get the um, efficiency bonus by going to 51? I guess it's like 100 or something you get an efficiency bonus. Okay, so now what are we producing? We are producing... Now we have a net positive of 10 wood, which is probably good because... We're going to want to... We're going to want to... Uh, have a little bit of wood on hand for maintenance and stuff. There we go. Yeah, now we have a positive balance of wood. This is good. Okay. Don't think we should be storing wood here. Now that we have our hauler set up. Oh no, I don't know if it's worth the work to have um, the workers to have uh, people fetching like this. Certainly makes it, um, you can see how it would be very, probably a good idea to be... Uh, did that work? No, I just did that wrong, didn't I? All wood. Full source from wood and stone. Yeah, we're good. Okay, we're good. So that's three extra workers. When each bakery has one worker. Now, it would make a lot more sense probably if I had, um, if I combined these three bakeries into one location and had them like hauling the grain and everything. Okay, so now we've got grain sitting on the ground. And yeah, we do need more delivery people in these. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go up to 300. What's our next uh, milestone here? 500. And we are currently at 375. Yeah, we could get there now if we wanted to. Uh, we just gotta scale the food up a bit. So we could... Probably support 500 people, actually, with our food, but just barely. Since our prisons are fully staffed, fully supplied, we are running the risk of having incidents occur. Make sure they are fully staffed and have access to food. Interesting. We have a prisoner. Why don't they have food? I guess we... This is weird. Food to fetch. Yeah, so go get the food. I don't see why. Pleads innocence, click to change punishment, okay. Um, let's build some stocks. Because that is going to really increase our happiness. So we'll just build a stock here. Do these, these are just like, yeah, we only need, really need one, I think, for now. We'll build a stock there. Yeah, so that's going to actually increase happiness. I don't know why. What happened to that dude? Why is he not there anymore? Did he, like, serve his prison term? No, he's back. Okay, so he goes to the stock, and then he goes back to prison. Okay, interesting. Cool. Uh, maybe we do want guard posts, but I think we need armor for guard posts. What kind of armor do we need? Guard posts. Leather armor will do. Okay, good. Okay, well, we can produce leather armor. We just need to get another hunter going. And another tailor. And we need to research a tech, don't we? Okay. Guard posts are good. They, they have, they'll help us get uh, Dondorian's makeshift armor. Uh, might be worth doing that as well. Let's do that. Uh, we could get going with uh, tools and stuff, but I don't really think it's a good idea for the moment. Uh, I want to get breweries for sure. We'll scale up, um, we will scale up, um, scale up our grain production, get going with breweries. Uh, we should start upgrading all these buildings too. I haven't been doing that. We have been having a lot of accidents. Could be worth, like, that seems, that seems like pretty cheap to reduce. I don't know what safety plus 0.6 actually does. I'll put some research into there and we'll, we'll, we'll just kind of see. Maybe it'll reduce the chance of accidents. I guess 
Because if it's 60% less accidents, that's a lot. It actually seems kind of overpowered, to be honest. But we'll see. Okay. So, Hunter, and we're going to put another Tailor over here. Tailors are here. Okay, let's upgrade the Weaver. That way we'll probably actually be able to reduce the uh, amount of tailors that we have. And we need a tailor. Tailor, tailor, tailor. We only have one tailor? No, we have two tailors. Okay. And we're not even using this tailor. Okay, we do have to kind of clean up this whole workflow as well. That's probably going to be next episode. Um, I will leave that extra tailor there just because I have a feeling... This tailor is going to make armor. We'll put that in this storage here. Yeah, I'll do some work off screen, kind of optimizing all the jobs. Prisoners have escaped. So, is it like, I guess you just need to have this max employed, which is kind of dumb. Like, I feel like the guard, the number of guards you need should be based on the number of prisoners you have, not the capacity of the prison. I don't know. Maybe I'm misunderstanding it. Maybe it needs, like, storage closer to it or something. Who knows? Okay, so this tailor is going to need... I, I, we don't need that much. We just need, like, enough for, like... Yeah, how much... Yeah, okay, we're producing more than enough lower. Yeah, okay, that's fine. This is good. Good, 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 good. So we're producing... Oh, we're actually kind of low on bows. Interesting. How many bows are we producing? Okay. Plus two. Nat plus zero. Okay, so we need another hunter, don't we? Yeah, we do need another hunter. Okay. And then we, we probably... We might even want to move... Shift our um, pastures over to... Orox. Okay, so there we go. There's 15 hunters, which is our maximum. Yeah. And we need more bows. Is it a wood problem or a... Might be a wood problem. We'll find out. Yeah, so net plus zero. Okay, we're still good. We're still good. And we're getting our armor slowly. But we, we need more bows than that. This is not... Uh, spoil rate, minus 12% per year. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's look at guard posts. They're really going to help. Uh, and what's the food situation? We're, we're, we're laughing, okay. Guard posts. Interesting. So do we want one of these gigantic ones? We just could put one there for the whole city. That's probably just worth it for now. Yeah, that's probably the most cost-effective way of providing a little bit of, uh... Okay, we need some more humans. Oh, what's the farm population again? We have a total of... 20... no. 55 farmers. Okay, give me four Dondorians and give me... That should be good, actually, for now. Give me another 25 humans. What are we waiting? Leather armors. Okay. Uh, I guess I can temporarily increase that. Yeah, it's going to burn through our leather right away. It's a lot of fucking armor, man. Hmm, okay. Uh, let's build a pasture. Let's get a pasture going uh, over on this side of the map. Where is our housing shortage? Ah, over here. Okay. Probably need another janitor soon, too. I think we should make a road here. There we go. Just fill this in. Like 
this. Looks like we're spending most of our money. I'm assuming since I increased our production of metal and stuff, and we've been, we, I guess we've just been using a lot of resources. What's the wood? What's going on with the wood here? Our net is minus 122. What the fuck, man? Something's wrong. Like, why are we not getting... We have 51 workers. Ah, it's degraded. Shit. Okay, bad news. Bad news. Is this not an auto-employ? Okay. Put five janitors in there. That's why our wood is fucked. What is preventing them from... Jesus, okay, I'm gonna have to just build another janitor here. Good thing I caught that, Jesus. Uh, maybe I'll just expand this one. Yeah, let's do that. Probably worth building um, the like larger janitors from the get-go. Yeah, probably worth just starting with these sort of size two ones like this. We shall see. Okay. Max this out. Give me a couple more dudes. Yeah, at this point you see, like, I think this is characteristic of the mid-game. Uh, I'm going to end the video here because uh, we're kind of uh, making a fair amount of progress here, and I think I'm going to run out of time. Um, but I, this is kind of characteristic of the mid-game. You're, like, increasing your population is not as big a challenge. Like, in the early game, it's like every 20, 30, 40 people that you're increasing uh, is a bit of a challenge. In the mid-game, it's like you can get as many people as you want, but if you're not careful, like, you'll have serious food issues. So you got to kind of just stay on top of everything. Uh, but we are almost at 500 population. Uh, I would consider, I mean, our army is way too small right now. Uh, I would consider... Uh, you know, trying to get our food, our, our our food under control, and just kind of massively increasing the size of our army. Uh, there's two options really. We can we can either increase the size of our our army domestically, or we can start uh, trying to make more money. Could be interesting, for example, to scale up this uh, to buy a bunch of um, Garthemi slaves and to get a huge clay pit going here. Oh, none of the miners are Garthemi. Are we just out of Garthemi slaves? Yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah, so it could be could be really interesting to um, to massively uh, increase that and sell a shit ton of pottery. Who knows? Like, there's there's any number of things we could do to to try and make some more money and stuff like that. So I'll be back with uh, more songs of six soon. And uh, thanks for watching.